Francisco's showing off again. He's gone down by the. Good girl. Hey everybody, we're working Leia a little bit because she's actually gonna go home tomorrow. She's actually doing really well. Um, uh, pretty much, you know, completely off leash, calming when called, placing really nice. But she downs nice, comes when called, sits real nice, uh, places really nice. Well, sits kind of weird because she's so low to the ground. It's almost like hard to tell sometimes when she's actually sitting. But uh, overall, she's just done really well. She's She's a really sweet uh, little dog, and um, pretty excited to get her home. Her owners are really cool, and excited to get her home and get them started on establishing that, um, you know, the correct relationship with her. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, just chat with you a little bit in case you have noticed it, um, or in case you haven't, then you can notice it is that in our training, we never use the word stay. It's not for basic obedience um, in this context. I find that the word stay is very redundant and becomes a crutch for the dog because if you're not repeating it, then the dog kind of doesn't want to hold the position. So we train the dog from the very beginning that um, stay is intrinsically part of the command. So instead of us saying Fido down, stay, 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 ah, stay, stay. We just basically say uh, Fido down and then Fido can't get up until we say Fido okay. I have found through many years of training that our clients really like that because it kind of simplifies things for them and um, you know they are comfortable with or I should say actually in the beginning it's a little confusing. A little confusing for clients because they're just so used to saying it or seeing it being said with other trainers. But once they get the grasp of it, which is usually pretty quick, then they like it a lot better because, um, because it is more simple and more clear for the dog to understand. So we've been working on this uh, service dog uh, situation for quite a while for a young, young man with autism. And uh, we've been searching for a lot for a, a good dog for him. I just picked up the dog, which um, you know, is a real awesome and exciting situation but at the same time the guys that uh, had him were pretty sad about having to let her and by him I mean her so it's you know kind of a interesting thing it's you know sad for them because they can't keep her but exciting on the other hand uh, unfortunately I got, started feeling really ill earlier so I'm kind of I'm actually not feeling really good I'm kind of out of it um, but She's with me now, you can't really see her. She's being a good girl so far. And I'll get uh, some more info later. Get your ball. You got your ball. You go, ow, you jump dummy. Get your ball, come on. Get your ball. Get your ball. Girl, get your ball. 